write 645,584,462 in standard form. So let's tackle this piece by piece. So the first part, we have 645 million. 645 million. So let's think about that. So we have 645, 645. But it's not just 645. We have 645 millions. So we could view that as 645 times times 1 million. 1 million is 1 followed by 6 zeros. So this piece right here is this right over here. That is 645 million. And what is that when we write it out? If we were to multiply this out, this is equal to, it would be 645 times this 1 with six zeros behind it. So this would be equal to 600, I'll write it like this. This is equal to 645, and then we have our six zeros. 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3. That's just this part of the number. And I'm going to do it kind of slow and do it do all of the different parts of the problem, but once you get some practice, you'll find that these are a bit second nature and you won't have to go through all of these steps. You'll just be able to write the number. Now let's move on to the next part. We have 584. Let me write that down. 500 and actually let me write it like this. We have well, I'll write it like this. 584,000. 584,000. So let me write the thousand, so 584,000. So it's 584 times 1,000. And what's that going to look at? So that that's this whole part right here. So 584 times 1,000 is equal to what? What's well, going to be 584 with three zeros behind it. Or you could view it as 584 times the 1, and you're going to have three zeros in the final answer. So it's going to be 584, 584,000. You have our three zeros at the end. 584, three zeros. So that's that part. And then finally, we have 462. 462. And that's just 462 straight up. You can view it as 462 ones. So then you just have 462, which obviously equals just 462. Now, our number is all of these combined. It is 645 million and 584,000 and 462. So one way to think about it is that you could add these three numbers. So if we were to add them, if we were to add them, we get 645 million, 645 million, 584,000, 584,000, 462. 462. Now I said it'll become a little bit of second nature to you in a little bit, and the, and the way to think about that, the easiest way to think about that is millions will have six zeros behind them, thousands will have three zeros behind them, and just, well, just regular numbers have no zeros behind them. So what you can do when you kind of want to learn it second nature, you'll just look at the 645 million. So you'll write 645, and you'll kind of keep in the back of your mind that you're going to have to have six more digits to the right of this. And then you say 584,000. And so then you have your 584,000. So then you write that down, 584,000, keeping in mind that you're going to need three digits to the right of that. And so if they didn't tell us 462, we would just put three zeros here. And that would also fulfill the six zeros we need behind 645 million. But then they tell us 462, so we just write that right here, 462.